Hey there, friends. Eric Hazelhorst here with another episode of the Ask Rock and H. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your attention and your time. Today's question comes from John, and John asked, "How do you guys feel hood? How do you guys fill hood seams and get it so it doesn't show after you paint? The way I've done it does not work. I get to the final paint, and once it's dry, I look at it in the look at it when the light is just right, and I can see the seam." This tractor, I ground the seam out, filled it with glazing putty, sanded smooth. I primed it before the paint. I put the final coat, and I can see the seam. What advice do you have, Bondo? Well, on some of the things where I've done cab chops, <clears throat> um, and I put styrene over it and things like that, depending on how complex or how deep or, or ridiculous that cut was, I'll just mix up some JB Weld. And I'll put that in the seam, and I put it over way thick. It's obscenely thick, and just causes me much more work than I really need to do. But that's what I do. And so I'll put that JB Weld in there, and then I'll sand it down. After the first sanding, I'll come back with Bondo glazing putty. And so far, I've had pretty good luck. Again, underneath the right light, can you see my seams? Yeah, you can see a little bit even though it looked perfectly smooth when you when you did all your sanding and your glazing putty and all that stuff. Again, under the right light, you might need to have some level of satisfaction knowing that it, it yeah, you do have to hold it right to see the seam and you can see, but you know, under normal light, under normal conditions, sitting on your shelf, it looks ridiculously cool. So it may be you might need to just be satisfied knowing that, yeah, it's there, but you, for all practical purposes, you can't see it. So that's one option. Two is um, more coats of primer in the, at the end to where some of that glazing putty soaks up your, your primer a little bit. And that is where using the, the uh, JB Weld because it won't soak up any primer, which I think is what you're seeing there. Because uh, I've noticed on models that I've primed after I've used glazing putty only, you can see a noticeable difference between die cast and the plastic where the glazing putty is. It, you can see the line and the difference right there in the primer. So maybe more coats of, of primer over the glazing putty could be one answer to help reduce that effect of just holding it just right and you see that after the paint is applied. That's one possibility. Uh, I myself have not perfected it, just so you know, but that is one possible solution, and I've tried that on several occasions using the uh, JB Weld, then small amounts of glazing putty, and I've gotten really, really nice results with that. So I hope that helps your question, John, and I thank you so much for asking it. For all of you watching around the world, if you have seen this anywhere but rockinhblog.com, Go right over there, click the subscribe button to my newsletter, then ask a comment or a question. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.